Exactly. Okay. So this is little Mr. Darcy. He's good to say hello. Hi. <laughs> We're going to do some work on some stress. Lots of stuff going on in his world. How you been feeling? Good. How you really been feeling? In the middle. <laughs> So we're going to go in and check the survival stuff, check your brain, check anxiety and stress and how's your temper been? Good. Good? Yeah. Are you feeling a bit of a change? That's good. <gasps> good. How's the temper been? Is that yes there's a temper or no there's not? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Okay, so there might be still something going on temper wise. His little sister. Okay, so hold your arm up for me. Beautiful. And hold. You're allowed to talk sweetie, that's fine. And hold. He hasn't had the t t tensions like it all. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. But you'll know how he is hold. after you've had High five. It. Survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival, all good. Yeah? Excellent. Good start. So what has been triggering the tantrums? Have there been any? Not since we saw you last. Okay, okay. Hasn't cool. Been, hasn't been one, it's just been hold. a normal... That's good. Eight year old boy. Perfect. That's what we want. Normal okay. is good. Okay, when I come here, I am definitely going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I'm not going normal. <laughs> so now I'm going, so that's all good too. Your celestial circuit's in place. And so now I'm going to start checking some of the pathways. And if that's all good, then we go in and find something that you really want to work on to make your life feel better, okay? Cool. So. Corpus callosum left to right, hold, perfect. Let's see what happens with trust and trust issues. And hold, aha. <laughs> so when you don't feel like you can trust someone, your brain doesn't work as well as it could. Sound about right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> and does that sound about right for you as well? Trust is fairly important? Yeah. So the two amygdala emotions showing up is that it makes you angry and makes you stressed. So they're the two amygdala points showing up. And remember we were talking about when the amygdala kicks in, so the anger can kick in within a really, like really, really fast. And then you're just in a bad mood and thinking, darn, I wish I wasn't in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sort of too late once it kicks in sometimes, isn't it? And I don't really good with this. I've got this little toy from the prize box because my teacher said the first one to be quiet get like the group who be quiet the more the most quietest gets um a choose out of the prize box and they got choose out of the prize box because we were the quietest or or cool. all our rotations. So what'd you score? About hundred out hundred. Yeah right. Nice, nice, nice. So let's recheck trust and trust issues. And hold. Perfect. Okay, next one's the frontal cortex. This chair was And hold it. You like it? Oh. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> so that's the anterior commissure. So when we're stressed, sometimes the nerves don't go to the front of the brain as easily. And it's fear that shuts that down. Do you remember what happens when we get scared? Do you remember where the blood supply goes in your head? Back here. All back here. This is all about survival. So it goes away from here, so it makes it harder to concentrate at school. All goes back here so you can fight and flight and freeze, do what you need to do. Which is why the tantrums, you know, it's such a bummer. Because we can whip into them in a heartbeat. I was just thinking, there's a, there's a family member who's uh, really angry at the moment and I was saying to my mum that they're entitled to their anger. Anger's a part of the whole grief gauge. Yeah. So we can't suppress it because then you've got the same anger 15 years later. You've got to let it out in one way or another. Yes. You know, so that, because otherwise it just stays the same. But you know, even if you don't suppress it, just get rid of it. Work out a way to get rid of it. Yeah. But you don't need to keep talking about it for the next 15 years either. Yeah. Yeah. So let's check that frontal cortex. Hold. Beautiful. So, when you're feeling sad, stressed and depressed and bummed out, that's what shuts down that little area. And hold. And Bushka. <laughs> He's trying really hard too. Every muscle in the little arms. 
in the muscle yams. <laughs> Do you like the light? Yeah. That was really cool when you did that thing to me. <laughs> and then I was like, I can't do it. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Because you're using all your muscles in your body mm -hmm. trying to like pull back. Yeah. And then you did it again and then I was I was able to. <laughs> Sadness, despondency, depression. And hold. Ah, whoosh, yeah. <laughs> so something else going on in there. Have you been sad a bit lately? Have you noticed anything? Okay. Let's just go back because that one's shown up two times in a row, which makes me think, I wonder if it's linked into something else. So we'll just go back and recheck the adrenals. Hold. Hold. No, nope, they're okay. Survival, hold. Deep survival, hold, aha. And hit and deep, yeah, right. Right, so when the frontal cortex shuts down, we don't think clearly. So even though we're saying words, sometimes other people can think we're being unreasonable, but we don't notice it because we just think we're saying what we're saying and we think it's normal because we like ourselves. So that area is shutting down. Um, there's an old survival pattern that's shutting that area down and that's when we can have those little angry moments and sort of just say all sorts of stuff that, you know, sometimes we don't mean. Do you say stuff when you get angry that you don't mean? That you feel a bit bad about later on? Yeah, I think we all do. Okay, so where's that, st that stored? EMC, MMC, PVSS. So it's in the periventricular survival system, which is where most of these patterns are. How can you get on YouTube? Well, I've been trying, but I couldn't get it. Yeah, right. Did you know there's a YouTube, you, YouTube Kids? I only found that out today. All right. Yeah, I think I knew that. I didn't know. Mm. Well, Teddy's only one and a half, so, you know. <laughs> well, He'll be much probably now. 14 months. Yeah, maybe he does. <laughs> You've got like about three thirty nine thousand views. Yeah, right. That's how much money you get. No, 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 no. You Mr. get like Fee. you get less than a cent per view. Yeah, Mr. P says if all those views are equal one dollar. No. <laughs> I was like, that's just impossible. Yeah, no. Nah. Like how people get like about three million views? Three million dollars. Facebook went down today. Oh, yeah. oh really? Hmm. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Hmm. I went on it and um, it's on the, um, I saw it on the news and as well, you can oh, get into Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can't get an Instagram, Facebook or Messenger. Really? Because a few of my, yeah, a few family members were messaging today for some reason. And uh, yeah, and it's like, Facebook, can't get into it. And I got home and I was like, Facebook, can't get into it. How annoying. Mm. Perhaps, and it's much really worked out well because you mightn't be ready to talk to anyone. <laughs> yeah. Family wise. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And tomorrow we leave school really early and we get to go to the Gold Coast for my birthday. <gasps> When's your birthday? 24th of March, but we always leave a week before my birthday. Well, happy birthday. But, you know, that, that's alright for sub, isn't it? You're going down the coast for your birthday. <laughs> is this your house? It is my house. Cool. And you know how big the old clinic was? Yeah. All of the stuff in the old clinic is in my house, which means my house is a bomb at the moment. You it looks like a bomb has hit. Why you are you asleep? It's just got a lot smaller. It's got a lot smaller. There's, uh, there's filing cabinets in the dining room and boxes of stuff all over the place. And only you can go through it. With yes. all this stuff, where do you sleep? I know. Well, luckily my bedroom is nice and Jay's made sure that that area is nice and neat and tidy. I never came Did um, Sanu get another job? Not yet. 
yeah, someone well. offered her a medical receptionist role, yeah. but she couldn't do it. You well, know, just the energy of that yeah. sort of work, she just couldn't do it. Mm. Oh, she's too sensitive, you know. Mm. <laughs> that would be a lot of people with a lot of stuff going on. Well, you only go to the doctors when you've got stuff on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And not looking to get better? Get yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They're lo looking after disease rather than health. Yeah. 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 I didn't know which way to say that one. No, no, that's all good, that's all good. Why do you fool oh, stuff? Well, that, all of this stuff I already owned, it was all at the other clinic. In lots of different rooms. I know. That's a quiet thing. It is, but it's very handy for putting books on. So, I'm in the reticular activating system and it's telling me that your body is primed for stress and it's affecting your muscles. Do you get like a sore neck or do you get like headaches or anything? No, I don't get headaches, but I do get sore neck sometimes. Yeah? No, I'll just tweak in the neck muscles then. Did we do a whiplash and cranial injury last time? Do you remember no. me checking your neck? No, but you checked his neck, but he's just getting over the flu and he had... Ah, uh, the you glands were up. were up. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just check your little neck muscles. So lift your head, hold up, I'm pushing down. Ah, Wooshka, and turn, and hold up nice and strong. Yeah, Wooshka, and turn, and hold up. Okay. So that didn't work as well as it should. They relate to the stomach meridian, so I'll check these muscles in here, which also do. Hold them coming down and out. No, that's fine. Hold, hold up. No. Yeah, right, a little bit sore, or a little bit tight, or um, hard to hold. Yeah. Well, I'm tired because I get out of school. My friend, Baxter, my friend, he just said he's not being my friend and he's talking about the past. And I was like, what's he talking about? Yeah, right. Why talk about the past when you can get this lovely future? Like, come on. And you say, I'm not your friend. Yeah, right. But I still got Jack. Yay! Jack's cool? Yeah. Nice. And Nikki? No, I don't have them. Isn't Nikki your friend anymore? No. Really? Even boys are quite fickle with their relationships at school. Friendships at school. Wow. They hate each other. Huh. Just creepy. Let's recheck and hold up for me. That's better. And hold up. And hold up. Beautiful. Hold on for two secs. Okay, so now let's. So anything else in the PVSS? Boom, 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 boom. And is that okay that Baxter's gone from your friendship at the moment, or does it make you sad? It's fine. Yeah. He used to be my friend for like about three years. Hmm. Now I'll be friends again next week. Yeah. Happy I'll leave him tomorrow. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> it was like, Baxter says, I'm not your friend anymore. And I'm like, I don't mind. You're still going to be my friend tomorrow. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, yes. you got to think fun. Yeah, you got to think fun about it, eh? You know. Because we know what it's like. Sometimes we change our minds, you know, overnight. Yeah, they say, with like, things, eh? they say they're going to, like, Never be my friend anymore. You play with me tomorrow. <laughs> you should hear what my grandson says to me, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have a little dig at you? <laughs> Maybe. Just a gentle one. Mm -hmm. It was a fun when one. When I say bite me, like, to annoy them, <laughs> she comes and bite me like she does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go... That was the old Bart from The Simpsons, wasn't it? Bite me. I oh, said where that comes from. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been doing it for 25 years. Mm. I don't think I've ever watched one episode. Oh, but it's like the best show ever. It's called The Simpsons. And Bart's really naughty. He's good fun, isn't he? Yeah, he's funny, but the naughty oh, yeah. because he, like, his friend Nelson tries, he tells him to shoot birds, and he's like, no. And he aims like away, shoots a bird. Or probably the wind got the bullet. Shouldn't 
but you can post it. Don't know. I'll send your mum a text message and make sure it's okay. So we'll get confirmation. And Thank you very she, much. Yeah, yeah no, that's yeah. all good. Yeah. And then as long as she's cool with it, you know, I'll put it up tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> And thank you for, well, you know, allowing people to see your treatment. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like once you get a lot of views, cha-ching! <laughs> have, have you got the silver play button yet? <laughs> Do I what? Have you got the silver play button? I don't know what that is. Oh, like a play button. It's, it, like, they'll give you a giant, like, Glass. It's like a picture frame. It's like the claw, but it has like a giant play button in it. Yeah, right. I don't think so. You can make all. I really, nearly all YouTube's have it. Okay. PewDiePie has a lot. Hmm. If you talk about PewDiePie, some 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 of the videos he has them hanging up, and then you'll see them. Okay. It's cool. I'm gonna check it out. What's that do? There is. Um, there's an acupuncture point in here that's on the kidney meridian and when that's blocked it tends to jam the solar plexus, solar plexus chakra. So the two of them tend to go hand in hand. So these points here in this circuit are about adrenaline mm -hmm. and the chakra is about vigilance. So when you get cranky and your body starts going, oh my god, life's going to be stressful forever, you know, luckily you're in a pretty good place at the moment. Like even the friendship stuff, I'd love to think like that around friends. Oh, I'll be my friend again tomorrow. Yeah. How cool would that be? Yeah. In six months. But it's months. so true. It's so true. But it's good to know that at your age. Yeah. More importantly. Oh. Did I have it's crack... I was going to say something because it's on. Yeah. <laughs> Did I have cracked my knuckles about like 17 times? Yeah, right. You're a cracker. <laughs> ha ha ha. What that? <laughs> yep. Okay, so let's go back and recheck the survival stuff. Oh, is there anything up the top there? Subclass or bit of No. Okay, good. So let's recheck your adrenals. Hold. Hold. Are you a band aid? Am I a band aid? Because I hurt my I hurt my oh. cell phone for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> 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 oh, ouchies, ouchie. Yeah, I've got a big bruise on the back of my leg and I thought, how did I do that? Yeah, no, it I just happens. Know. They just appear somehow. Like, they do. You accidentally crash into something and you're like, you don't even think about it and then next morning you have a giant bruise on the back of your leg. <laughs> I just asked your body if there was psychological reversal in relation to anything and your body said yes in relation to trust. So, they said 